<sighs> the moments that you don't see, we just assume. It happens in everything that we do. We just think. We think that this happens because of this and this. You don't ever really see me adjust my microphone. You just assume, and I assume, that when you go to a grocery store, that everything that you want is going to be there. You don't realize that we have a supply chain issue in the world. We just assume. Trying to break free of that habit is, is very difficult in this age where, you know, really, we've got more than any other generation ever. And yet, when things aren't there, we feel like that we're being mistreated or people just don't like us for one reason. Because, well, I want it. W- what do you mean? I, I, I can't get it. Which has always made me kind of laugh about the the success of Amazon because people are willing to wait two and three days to get a product when before Amazon, we just had big fits because it wasn't so readily available. But here we are. It's a new week. It's a new month. The summer has entered its third month already. This seems to be the top subject of so many people. As a single generation, the availability of time is like a drought right now. So many minutes and seconds have dried up. Our paths assumed bare. That's how I feel about this. It's like, it's, it's not there. I've read so many stories about the number of college graduates who have stopped chasing their chosen careers to take up better paying jobs in retail. Of all places, retail. The work is pretty hard, but here's the thing. People are willing to do that because other places of business are controlled by overzealous decision makers wanting miracles during a time when consumers have become amazingly unpredictable and unfaithful to the national brands. It's a new walk. It's a new month. There's no need to predict what's going to happen in the news, weather, or even in sports. I've heard this term a lot lately. On paper, this should be happening, but in reality, moments beyond our control created an unpredictable twist that put us in a different circumstance. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I view the world. Not because I want to. It's because I, I think I'm called to. N- not because it's a higher power. It's just that I show up with a writing instrument in my hand. And I think because for 28 years, I you get tired of writing about yourself that you say, you know what? It's not about me. It, it's about what's going on in the world. Time drying up like the lakes in California. Time. Where is it? And why is it moving so quickly? This is the Daily Mess. And here, I'm going to build on that, okay? It's moving so quickly, and as a daily writer, I'm able to document these moments so that anyone can come back and say, oh my God, uh, I, I was there. I remember that. Because right now, with time being what it is, dried up like a desert, we're forgetting the journey. We don't want to document the journey. It's not what cool kids do these days. A very strange time that we are presently living. The cost of living is at a 40-year high. I'm on the front line. Not only during an ongoing pandemic, but we're living in an age when government money and assistance isn't enough. More and more people every day, I'm seeing them returning food to the grocery store. They purchased it maybe one or two weeks ago and have decided in their moment of now, ah, we don't need it. I'm going to take it back to the grocery store because I realize three quarters of it has been eaten, but that's okay. I'll come up with a story. They'll give me my money back. And they do. They come back to the store expecting to get double your money back because that's the store guarantee. Or here's what they do also. People will walk into a store and they will steal an item walk around the backside by the meat department, through the produce department, through the bakery, come up to customer service, and they'll say, yeah, I, I, I got this over at a different location. I, I've changed my mind. I really don't need it. I don't have a receipt. Can I get my money back? And you know what? Most customer service departments would say, I'll give you store credit, or I'm going to give you your money back, when in fact, they stole it. Or they will, they will purchase it, and then they'll keep the receipt, go into the store, steal another one, come up to customer service, and what they'll do is they'll show us the receipt. But what I've started to do is I keep the receipt or I mark on the receipt that this has been exchanged because that's the way of life. We, we are not used to that kind of living in this country, but it's happening. I'm on the front line. I see what's going on. And like it says in the very beginning, a very strange time we are presently living. The cost of living is at a 40-year high. 
And you've got to have compassion for the people that are doing this because they've got the courage and the confidence to bust down every rule that has been put into play and do something to put some cha-ching into their pocket. The retail business is under attack. And what's happening is, is that people would rather put customer service ahead of discipline or accountability. A very strange time we are presently living in. But when the retail businesses finally understand how much money they are losing and it's not about customer service, then maybe there will be change. But do you really see that in the near future? Because having people come into the store is more important than what they take out of the store. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.